What is it, you guys? It's your boy Gamer Skin here today with your great balls of fire predictions review. You can hear my voice is a little hoarse, and that's because I've been busy over the past couple days in Texas. Neither Raw or SmackDown was good this week, so I didn't really feel like putting out a review. Um, they both really felt filler. I mean, the Usos and the New Day put on a decent little rap battle. Seen as renewing his feud with Rusev. Basically, any of the big news is over there on SmackDown. So I didn't figure that, that either of them really deserved their own review. Um, the biggest thing coming out of Raw, though, I, I guess, is that now we know for sure what the stipulation is for the Hardys and Shamaro match. So I don't know. If that's probably the biggest thing, it probably is. We had um, Roman return and beat up Strowman. We had Joe not able to get to Lesnar, so nothing too crazy. So in Great Balls of Fire, the first match I right, so we're gonna be kick off. Um, Neville versus Tazawa. Now see, a lot of this pay per view feels like it could have been built up more. Um, this is one of them. I don't think Tozawa is built up enough yet to take the Cruiserweight title away from Neville. So I'm going to say Neville is going to win. Next we have Big Cass versus Enzo Amore. No one Vince, you already know who's going to win. It's going to be Big Cass. Um, Enzo, you might as well just lay down and let him bury you. You're, you're done. Thank you for coming. You are done. Next, we got the Hardys and Shamaro in a 30-minute Iron Man match. Um, the news broke two weeks ago that Shamaro Sheamus she might not be able to defend the titles as he's going to be working on the new set of I don't know what new movie it is, the Buddy Games or something like that. So this could seem like a logical time for them to drop the titles. Don't know if they will, but based on that fact alone, I'm gonna say the Hardy is gonna win. But I do think if that wasn't the case, if the Buddy Games wasn't there, Shamar was gonna find a way to win. Then we have Miz versus Ambrose. I see title match. Miz had to defend his title on Raw against um who was that? Hey. Okay. I forgot. I forgot his name. He's Slater. Um, I do think Miz is going to win somehow. Whether it be through his dirty tricks or whether it be straight up. I don't see the Ambrose regaining the title. I don't think he needs the title. I think he needs to move on. A match that is fought over nothing next. Wyatt and Seth. I'm taking Seth Rollins. Wyatt, you've been buried time and time again. You're going to be buried again. That's that that easy. Then we have Sasha Banks versus Alexa Bliss. Once again, I don't think Sasha's been built up. I mean, the name is built up yet enough on itself, but on TV as of late, it hasn't been built up to the fact that Alexa Bliss might drop the title. So I'm going to say Bliss is going to retain, even though I think the best option would be Sasha Banks to get the title. We have Roman and Braun in an ambulance match. Um, Braun has been putting Roman in the ambulance as of late. So I'm going to say Roman's going to get his next hand up. But don't be surprised if Vince wants to get the Roman lost out of the way by having Roman be thrown into an ambulance instead of getting pinned. Because, you know, he doesn't let him get pinned. Then we got Samoa Joe versus Brock Lesnar. You think Brock Lesnar's going to lose? I want somebody to go to win. But do you think Brock Lesnar's going to lose? Because I don't think Brock Lesnar's losing. I don't. Anyways, thank you. That was my short little Great Balls of Fire predictions and preview. Along with a little bit of knowledge of SmackDown Live and Raw. I mean, it wasn't too much because there was not too much. Anyways, we can bring gamers in. I am out.